So, I started my locks back in 2009 all by myself. And I started my journey with the intention of only using all natural products, right? But throughout the years, that has changed. I have honestly used a whole, and I still do it. I will pick something up off the shelf, open it. If it smells good, I'm taking it. I'm going to try it. I can honestly say that I have yet to find that one it all cream or that one magical gel that has worked specifically for my hair. So there's lots of videos and there's lots of blogs and there's lots of fad products out there that claim to be the best and that claim to have uh, guaranteed results and manifesting long luscious flowing locks. Right, we we we. I sometimes get caught up in the hype of the fad products and the talk, you know, and the blogs and the YouTube videos. Like, try this; it works. It's awesome. But what works for them might not work for you. There's a lot of factors that are involved with a product working specifically for an individual. Okay, so what works for these people or that person or them or her or she might not work for you. And it solely depends on the individual. So I've used a bunch of various products, and I can say that you know they never they haven't um, harmed nor helped in in you know huge ways that I can notice. But after four years, I am very satisfied. I'm very 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 happy with the progression that my hair has made. Okay, despite the various products that I've used despite the various shampoos and conditioners and gels and um, unconventional forms of um, products, <laughs> despite the breaks that I take in retwisting, despite the experimenting I've done with latching and freeforming and hair dyeing, my hair has not suffered any from any of these experiences, these, tip, these different types of approaches in my hair. I'm very happy with where my hair has gone, has come in four years. So I want to share with you some insight on some very important elements that you should think about in manifesting your desired outcomes with your hair. And this can be for locked hair or loose hair. But I'm going to just talk about locks because this is where my experience um, has been planted. All right. With these key elements, you can really grow the long, luscious, healthy, flowing locks that you so desire. And all you need are two little elements. You ready? <laughs> I was trying to figure out some like huge build up to it. Drum roll, please. Really, all you need is intention and respect. That's all you need. And I'm talking from experience. So um, I read one of the very first books that I read when I decided that I was going to embark upon this lock journey was a book that took a more metaphysical approach to Lux and I said I was going to do a review on it. I am. It's a very interesting book because the woman breaks down um, she breaks down kind of like the anatomy in a in a metaphysical way and she kind of compares the coil of the strand of um, Afrocentric hair or any type of coil really in the hair and she kind of compares it to a DNA strand and she makes this analogy to um, the hair having this ability to resonate to a more cosmic force. You know, the way that that coil is shaped resembles the DNA structuring. And the way that the coil is shaped represents um, some of the cosmic galaxies that we see in the universe. 
or cosmic forms that we see in the universe. And it, it really was a very interesting uh, approach to, to, to the hair. She took a more metaphysical respect in um, studying the hair. And so when I started my locks, I did so because of the style and the low maintenance of it, but also because I knew that this having this particular style would open up the channel for me to progress my consciousness, for me to progress this divine connection that we all have, that we all have, but we just have to strengthen it. We just have to become aware of it, and we have to strengthen it. And so that's why. I, I grew my luck. I knew that me having this style would kind of make these aha moments more prevalent to me in my life. And so that was the background to why I wanted to do it. But on the surface, it was a cool style. <laughs> so throughout my journey and throughout all these different approaches and experiences and experimentations that I have had, I can honestly say that it has been the intention that I have set forth and the respect that I showed to my hair, regardless of all the other outside factors that I did. So, for instance, when I decided that I wanted to dye my hair, right? This is the first, back in the day, when I did that henna hair fail video. I don't even know if that video is still up. It's so crazy, right? Um, but I wanted to use all natural products, and I wanted to dye my hair. But even though I might have picked up this product off the shelf, and even though it might not have been 100% all natural, I used it with the intention of respecting my hair with a natural product. And even though it was a mess, it colored the hair, and in the long-term effect, it really it did not damage my hair, it didn't dry my hair out, I didn't have any type of negative effect because of it, all right? And so with me doing using all these different products, and all this different latching, I did it with with the intent of um, with a positive intention of maintaining my hair. Anything that I did with my hair, I didn't do it with the respect that oh this might not work or this could possibly damage my hair. I never allowed the possibility of damage. To, to plant seeds in, in my mind. I didn't. I was all about, let me just try and see. And if it doesn't work, I can change it. See, locks are a very forgiving style. If you do something and it doesn't work, you can quickly and easily fix it. Unless you just unless you cut your shit, then that might be a problem. But <laughs> anything that you do to your hair and it doesn't work, locks are very forgiving. As long as you don't continue to make the same mistakes, locks are very, very forgiving. And so I always went in with like, let me just learn and figure it out and see for myself. Because my hair and me, I'm different from everybody else. So what someone does with their hair with the same product could have a completely and totally different effect on me. Even if we have the same hair texture, it's not about hair texture. Texture is not the reason why something works for him and blah, blah, blah. There's a whole bunch of environmental influences, and it's the thoughts that one keeps, too, right? It's the intention that you give. So if I take, I swear to you, if I take this sock, and I decide that this sock is going to curl my hair, and I put all my intention in respect in this sock and my hair, I know that there is a way that I can curl my hair with this damn sock. Same thing with this water bottle. If I say I'm about to curl my hair with a water bottle, watch and see, and I give it my full and pure intent, you best believe you think that you thoughts will come up on here with a video and talk about, yeah, y'all, and curl my hair with the water bottle. Holly, if you hear me. This is the magic that exists with the lock journey. Magic is nothing but the mixing of elements with pure intention. Boom, your desired outcome occurs. And so once the girls came, the twins came, I really had no time for hair. I mean, I pretty much just washed it. Okay? And that was the respect that I gave my hair. And it was fine. 
Um, also, the respect that I gave my hair was not allowing people, other people, especially people that I did not know, to put their hands in my hair. That was something that I started from the beginning because it's a transfer of energy. I am very much a sensitive being when it comes to the energy that surrounds me. I can feel it. It's just... And so that was something that I was very conscious of. And that's why I decided to start my own locks because I would go to these different um, locticians and the minute they opened their mouth, that was enough for me. Sometimes they didn't even have to open their mouth. Just being within their presence in seconds, I was able to determine that this type of energy is not one that will be healthy for my hair. And so I made the decision to do it all on my own because I did not want to risk this transfer of energy. I said it then and I'm sticking to it now. So that was another way that I showed respect to my hair. Um, this channel was a way that I showed respect to my hair, right? So my intention with starting this channel was to just kind of have fun in documenting this journey. I didn't know what the hell I was doing, but there was a whole community out there of people that did know what they were doing. And so I wanted to just kind of get my seat in there and just kind of figure it out along the way. Share my experience, have some laughs, and let's just kind of learn along the way. But from this channel, my hair was able to accumulate the blessings. There are so many of y'all that stuck with a sister from day one. There's so many of y'all that just come in and, and, and give me and my hair five minutes of your time. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. My hair received thousands and thousands of blessings from people that I've never met. With positive words, with positive intentions, happy comments, whatever, all the shout outs, the love, the respect, the support that I got through YouTube is probably one of the biggest elements in me being very happy with the journey that my hair has, has brought me. Okay. And not only that, then my hair started to take on this personality. I don't know where ugly came from. But Ugly knocked on my door and Ugly wanted to have his say. And we were able to have a lot of laughs through Ugly. Ugly's still around. Ugly just, you know, he on vacation. <laughs> but the hair started to take on its own personality. And so I had fun with it. See, I like to have fun. And so naturally my hair likes to have fun. And from this fun, the hair is happy. See, the intention and the respect that I gave my hair is the reason why I am where I am all by myself. I did not spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on my hair at all. At all. I was able to do everything on my own. And there were months where I didn't even put a single product in my hair. I just gave it the natural elements that it needed. Love, respect, intention, and some water. Because you got to keep them clean. Let me see if I can take this out. I can't figure out how to take this out. But I'm going to cut this here. Because I was rambling. And, um, you know, this is uh, about, what? Three weeks of kick. I hadn't had kick in a while, so I put some kick in it. Kick being pipe cleaner curls. Look, I even have, the locks even have their own damn language. What I used to say, kick. What else would I used to say? I don't remember, y'all. But the locks kind of took on a personality of their own. All right? I started wearing them down. Had this confidence level and wearing them down. What? Yeah, I don't know. Love your babies, respect them, and give them your purest intention. If you pick a product up off the shelf,
let's say you can't even read the ingredients but you know what this product is going to make my hair shine shine baby shine and you best believe your hair will shine holla if you hear me season's greetings y'all